Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's practice, Sunday Kriya practice. As we bind down in this space, just follow the sound's vanishing point. Feel how this universal sound, the creational sound, the bija sound is drawing you into this vanishing point where You are moving beyond this space of object subject relation, and you unwind all of the energy. Call all of the energies back to yourself, all of them, from all space time, throughout the morphogenetic field. And we connect to our higher self. I am presence. We create this beautiful flow of crystalline, golden, photonic white light. Connecting to your avatar self, golden Rishi self and Mother, Father, God. And start activating your 12 dimensional shield of protection. And we can have a different approach. Every one of us has a way to do that. And I've seen it in a vision to start spinning a Merkaba. It's the upward facing triangle and the down facing triangle merged together. And we're visualizing this spinning in your heart. As you're winding down, calling all the energies back. And then you see this Merkaba spinning in your third eye. Spinning in your root. Spinning in your crown. Then encompassing your entire body. So your body becomes this one spinning Merkaba vehicle, which is now harmonizing with this earth, this planet's graceful, beautiful, crystalline, golden, photonic heart, harmonizing, unifying, And then the spin rate is harmonizing with the central sun, great central sun, Andromeda galaxy, and source. So we have all of these beautiful 
seemingly separate spaces harmonizing and creating a beautiful shaft of light from source all the way to the center of this planet through your spine. And connect to your breath. As you breathe in, you just reconnect to this automatic, beautiful flow, golden crystalline white light. And as you exhale, you deepen into this vanishing point. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. As we inhale, we connect to the flow of connectedness outward and as we exhale we connect to the dissolution that happens moment to moment we have this ability to drop into this space of dissolution and we set a sun cup today a sun cup intention sitting under the Bodhi tree. And the sun cup is to allow the emotional, mental body to be merged, released, cleansed of any and all inverted architecture. Anything that keeps this morphogenetic field out of alignment, out of unity, oneness with Mother, Father, God. Stay and unwind. Watch the mind, the emotions, the energies play with each other. They play. They are in the foreground. And our practice and all the practices are allowing us to drop into that space free of thought, emotion, energy, impression. We just move to that place and if there is this unwinding going on, Notice, just notice what is playing out in the sea the sea of consciousness, consciousness is a vast.
and what is taking place in it is not you. It's not you. And as soon as you identify with anything, it is limiting your beingness. I ask dear mother, father, God to oversee and overlight this practice, this healing, this sadhana. And as you breathe, just naturally, naturally, you lift up all the energies from the bottom of your spine, which is your tailbone, you breathe in. And keep your breath at the top of your head, the crown and see the energy cursing at the top of the crown. Keep it. And you exhale back down, dropping it through the spine. You drop it back into the seat of Kundalini. You can apply the Ujjayi breath, constricting the backside of your throat. And drop it back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nowhere to go. Keep encompassing all of it. Exhale. Use the two arms in the background as your measure. Inhale. Keep your breath. Just feel the fullness of all that is and exhale, drop back. Inhale, slowing down the nervous system. Contain your breath. And we're deepening, deepening into the zero point. Exhale. Inhale. And as you just close your eyes, just drop into your heart space. As there was this universal pull, I would call it a multiversal pull at the back side of your heart, your crystalline photonic 
golden white heart, lotus heart, activating the white lotus flower consciousness of the crystalline architecture. And this Merkaba is it's spinning at the backside of your heart. It's pulling, it's pulling all of the data. Do not forget to breathe. Just naturally drop the practice and breathe. It is pulling all of the data, all of the quantum information from the field back to itself. It's very potent. Why? Because it's not attached to anything. And as soon as you allow it to heal the emotional body, the mental body, You just give away into this direct, potent, loving, overriding force. We're going to practice the Nadi Sodhana in order to harmonize the left and the right brain hemisphere so you can Place these two fingers, your pointy finger and middle finger to the top of your, in the middle of your forehead. And you can start circulating your fingers at the center of your forehead and just start tapping. Just tap and say the intention to fully merge with your highest home frequency, merging all of your energies, emotions, thoughts, impressions into this vast loving ocean of oneness. Everything is offered up to that ocean and stop the tapping. And as you hold your third eye, just say, I give it all to God. There's no more attachment to pain. Give it all to God. No more attachment to well-known looping to the looping of your daily mental processes. I give it all to God. So it is. And as you have these two fingers, it's a very deep practice. Stay here. Stay within the container of the vanishing point. Stay. And as you have your third eye touched by the two fingers, we're going to use the thumb and the ring finger to close either sides of the nostrils. Do not force your breath. Do not jerk your breath. Be gentle. It's not about the practice. Just inhale without closing any nostrils. Inhale. And then close your right nostril and exhale on the left. At one, two, three, four, five. Inhale on the left. Contain your breath at the third eye. One, two, three, four, five, close the left nostril, exhale on the right, one, two, three, four, 
five. This is the white stream. Pull up the white stream as you inhale from the bottom of your spine. White crystalline light all the way to your third eye. See this white ball as you contain your breath. Two, three, four, five. Close the right, drop it on the left red stream from the third eye drop it to the bottom of your spine red stream four five inhale on the left red stream from the bottom of your spine inhale three four five red stream in the middle of your forehead the red current two Three, four, five, close your left, exhale on the right, dropping the white stream, exhaling into the tailbone, the white river, inhale on the right, two, three, four, five, there's this beautiful white crystalline ball in the middle of your forehead. And it is now starting to pull all the emotions, energies, thoughts into itself, drop it, close your right, drop it on the left, this red current. Inhale, red, on the left. See this red ball, which is a vortex in the middle of your forehead. It's gathering all of the emotions, cellular memory, connected to the red current. Exhale, on the right white current, drop it back to the tailbone, harmonizing your brain, inhale on the right, use the ujjayi breath, constricting the backside of your throat, Contain this red, white current in the middle of your head. Exhale on the left, red current, drop it back. Inhale on the left. Red ball. Connecting to all the emotional, physical, mental data. Transmuting it, harmonizing it, and then dropping into the white current on the right. Drop it. Connect to your tailbone. Inhale the white curve. Contain the white curve. Close your right nostril and drop it to the left. Contain. For a second, connect to your tailbone, red current, inhale. Red current in the middle of your head. White current, drop it back. On your right side. Inhale, right side. Contain it in the middle of your head. 
connecting all the cellular data connected to the white current, transmuting and just drop it to the left. Exhale and drop the practice, drop the practice. As you are feeling this multiversal pool, this multiversal pool is always available to you at the center of your heart, back, back side of the heart. And we are connecting now consciously to our seed atom, which is at the top of your sternum, still part of the heart space. This is your beautiful oneness, creative, creatrix field, which is one harmonized with Mother, Father, God. This is your seed atom, the atom through which God plays through you, through your grace, through your love, through every action. Let's inhale there, top of the sternum, sternum, inhale. Contain and just see how your whole body contain is blasted with this white crystalline diamond light. Just contain, you can pull up your mula bandha. Every cell is being blasted right now. And exhale, release. Now, as we, we're going to inhale again, we're going to speed up this higher heart, the seed atom, the pulsation in the seed atom in order to release all of the inverted architecture. Inhale. Crystalline white golden purity, pulsating very fast, harmonizing the morphogenetic field, harmonizing it with your highest home frequency and exhale everything that no longer serves you. You can do a ha. The next time we're going to inhale, just drop down a silver cord from this space at the top of your sternum to Mother Earth and just trace this beautiful space from the top of your sternum all the way to Mother Earth's heart and just feel the exuberance. Mother has exuberance. It has beautiful flow. It has so much grace for all of us. She is full of creative force. She is birthing all that is into being. Inhale her might into your seed atom. Contain it. And then as, just contain it, but as we exhale, we're going to push up this beautiful luminescence and connect to source. So you push it up from the sternum, past your crown, all the way to source, exhale. And then from source, we drop back down into Mother Earth 
and inhale that luminescence into your seed atom. Inhale. Contain your breath. You can close your mulabanda root, PC muscle. Just see every single cell pulsating, lighting up this creatrix field, every single field of your cellular plateau is this beautiful God creatrix field and exhale up to source. As you were stretching your architecture all the way up to source your home frequency, inhale from the center of the earth, through your root all the way to the seed atom creatrix field. Contain your breath and starting, this pulsation is starting to reverberate. Contain your breath, it's opening every cell and it's moving out, the vibration is moving out, all the cellular memory of grief, attachment, abandonment, deep, deep sadness and push it all the way up to source, exhale. Lift it as if your spine was lifting its energy up, up to source, all the way up to source. You can even help it with your hands, your arms, drop it back down into the earth and then lift it up, inhale. You can hold the top of your sternum if you'd like, if it feels good, just hold your breath. And there's this pulsation of the seed atom, connecting it with the creatrix field, releasing everything that is inverted in the architecture of the morphogenetic field, exhale up, And just stop for a moment, contain. Inhale back from the middle of the earth. Contain it in the sternum. And the sternum is creating these concentric circles that are connecting all of reality, all of the densities, all of it into one unified creatrix field. Drop deeper and deeper into this space as you contain your breath and then push it out through an exhalation. all the way to source. Beautiful. Push it up. Beautiful. Inhale from the center of the earth. Contain it in the higher heart. See how this beautiful luminescence is harmonizing all of your densities, all of the layers of your emanation multidimensional body. Exhale up to source. Lifting your spine, lifting all the density from your spine. Now drop the practice just for a moment. The last three breaths are going to be 
a full removal of black goo technology from the spine. So we are going to inhale from the center of the earth, contain it in the higher heart. And then as we exhale, feel this pull from your root through your spine, through your crown up as if this really tart like black goo it's like a black sticky AI material is being removed from your entire morphogenetic field. Okay, this is really, really powerful. Now that we have created this pathway, we're able to release it. This is what's coming up for all of us. Okay. Just breathe regularly, exhale all, inhale from the center of this earth, connect to your sternum, light it up, encompassing all of the dimensions. And as you exhale, there's a pull that is pulling everything, this gooey black stuff out of your morphogenetic field. Exhale, lift it out. Beautiful. And there's this vortex at the top of your head and also a vortex in the middle of this circle that's helping the removal of this black goo AI technology. It's usually stuck in the spine. Sorry, the process is going on. So that's what we have to do. Just wait for a second. It's being lifted out from your root from your tailbone, lifting it all up through your crown. Good, inhale. from the center of the earth to the top of your sternum, your permanent seed atom, just connect to your creatrix field. This is your mother, father, God, being self. Contain your breath, close your root. See every cell light up, contain. And then start spreading, start spreading your consciousness everywhere. And as you exhale, just feel this pull. The exhalation helps the pull from your tailbone through your crown out. Exhale and lift it all out. All of the black goo technology, dark matter, infested architecture being released, released deleted, canceled from the morphogenetic field now. Inhale from the center of the earth. Contain at the top of your sternum. And see your sternum spin at a very high rate in the center, very high rate. Spin rate is much higher than usual. Exhale up. Stop the practice for a second. And just see how there's this beautiful vortex. Your spine had become a river. 
And there's a beautiful vortex, which is crystalline white golden light. Very fine frequencies of ascension flame. And it's twirling, whirling in the center column, the pranic channel starts whirling from the center of this planet, whirling upward through your earth star, moving up into your root, sacral center, moving up into your solar plexus, Removing any and all spikes, any and all implants that may have been left. If you need to move your body, do. Your neck, moving up into the heart. Clearing out the Amrita Nadi now. Moving through your throat. And then from the throat, it goes back to the altar major back side of your head. And then it shoots through all the way through your third eye and up through your crown. Into your causal body, cleansing, cleansing, Cleansing your causal body, moving up into the soul star. Stellar gateway. all the way to source. Just feel the freedom. What I'm being told is this black goo technology, very much connected, it's an AI, you don't have to know too much about it. Removed, released fully from the morphogenetic field I activate a faster movement of the highest light particles, sound particles in this co-joined field to remove any and all remaining black goo traces, including our children, they still don't need the permission for it. You may find that your spine is very hot. The process is taking place. And just feel the black goo technology was thwarting our morph morphogenetic field, thwarting. And then what happens is that the black goo, it's like a sticky, sticky, multi dimensional material that is constantly keeping you or dropping you into a lower vibration. It had been removed fully. And just draw back now into your heart. Drop it back. Your consciousness, your focus. And just release all of your tension. Just, just very simple. Pay attention to your feet now. Feet, 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 feet. Shins. Caps. Knees. Thighs. Just feel your tailbone. Mm. 
and then feel your torso and feel how your arms, your shoulders are just dropping. Your hands, you can feel resting on your thighs. And you can feel how your neck is relaxing, shoulders and the head resting on your neck. Just for a moment. Place your conscious attention to the right side of your chest. There's this beautiful crystalline white golden vortex at the right side of your heart. And just trace the path. All I'm asking you, trace the path. This is not an energetic channel. This is your pure connection to consciousness. Tracing the path from the right side of the heart going up through your neck, through the center of the body, up the heart, up the neck, going back to your altar major chakra through your third eye and up through the crown out. So if there's any knots, any knotting, I ask it to be released now. Any knotting. Releasing, settling in this beautiful flow and freedom it is naturally here there's nothing to be attained all that needs to be done is released beautifully let go of and as you draw back to the back side of your heart drop it back Connect to this beautiful rose, pink rose. There's two technology in your sacred heart, the rose, the pink rose, and the white diamond lotus. We're connecting to the pink lotus, the pink rose right now. as it's breathing its beauty through your heart. The sacred technology, the sacred geometry of the pink row. And the pink rose is now releasing its Amrita, which is its blessing of the gods, Ambrosia, Amrita. It's releasing its fragrance. I'm calling in the purest devis of the pink rose. of the beauty, of the joy, serenity, to start merging all of our bodies. Into this sacred 
being in love. As creation, as mother, father, God is in love. Is as becoming in love. Feel it, it's coming through. Melting all of the inverted technology, just feel it. There's no space left at all for grief. Abandonment, betrayal. Just see this beautiful rose has unlimited amounts of petals. They're pink, golden, white. And every time I say an inversion, energetic imprint like grief, just see a petal. float away from this sacred rose. It floats out of your multi-dimensional morphogenetic field. It lifts out, out, grief, out, sadness. Betrayal. We're having a shower of these petals now, lifting out of our hearts because we have many bodies. So they're all lifting out from all the bodies. Upward. It's not a shower, it's a fountain. Heartbreak. Punishment. Oh. Jealousy. Possessiveness. Attachment, fear, death, envy. Heartbreak is coming up again. Heartbreak, heartbreak, cancel, clear, delete. We're being adjusted for, to the fifth dimensional new earth plane of existence. As we're collapsing all of the false architecture, all of it, we're collapsing it. As these petals are rejuvenating, they're floating away from us. You see, there's still beautiful petals, but we are done. We're done. You let it go. You learned. You let us say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. It's 
so beautiful. And the petals are rejuvenated. We have rewritten the morphogenetic field. And we are putting in the petals start growing abundance. Notice that this moment is very abundant. Feel into it. This, this is your unlimited abundance that we are creating together. Just feel into it beautifully. Feel into it. Mm -hmm. It's all the possibilities. It's not just a pipe dream. Cancel command. It is abundance, it's flow of your unlimited love as the self loves you unlimitedly. Oh, I ask to download fully the love of the self. Returning all the self love through abundance, power, unconditional love, unconditional beauty, unconditional grace, unconditional service, unconditional sexual energy flow This beautiful pink rose is now encompassing all of our body and just feel that it's creating a torus field the center of it is constantly moving light sound particles into the morphogenetic field creating this beautiful torus field around your body it's golden crystalline white pink it's harmonizing all of the dimensions. It's self-generating. It is one with Mother Gaia, Tara. Tara. It's one with Mother, Father, God. It is the peace, the harmony, the initiated high priestess and priest, transcendental heart love. The devis are singing, the nature spirits are rejoicing. So it is. Just see yourself as this conduit of love that conduit that brings back all of these attributes of unconditional love, beauty, grace, wisdom, service, the law of one through your heart. And just see your heart becoming a vortex and just see that we are encompassing this planet And we're seeing this pink rose 
clearly in our heart, in Mother Gaia's heart, and in the heart of all of humanity, those who have souls. And this pink aura is now formulating all around this planet, especially around our children, all the adults. Now your intelligence knows how to connect to all the sacred sites. And I ask all the sacred site vortices to start empowering this beautiful emanation of the pink flame. Bringing about the new earth dimension. So it is. So it is. So it is. I thank Mother, Father, God, Isis, Mary, Magdalena, Babaji, all of our guides all of our avatar being selves for this service, for this openness, for this activation, for this teaching, as we volunteer to be conduits of this sacred, holy love. And we bow down. <laughs> in reverence, in grace, in thankfulness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm being told that this pink force that we have now connected with more deeply, because we've connected with it before, is going to heal any and all remaining cellular memory of all of these inversions that we have listed they're now like the lid had opened now if there's any cellular memory to be corrected back into unity that's going to be reverberating and self-healing itself throughout um I can ask how long? Just three to four days. If you feel a little bit too emotional, or even if you just feel exhausted emotionally, it could be that. And you can also replenish yourself with this exuberance of the pink rose. Would be beautiful if you got one. You see behind me is uh, this kind of a, a peach colored pinkish rose. And that is the new fifth dimensional color. Beautiful, Amalia is saying that she really got emotional while she was doing the breath. And today this container, the purpose of this container was to remove any and all 
emotional body and mental body inverted architecture it's just a fancy way of saying all of these negative thought patterns that had created some kind of a energetic imprinting is now being removed but there are also some elements in our morphogenetic field that kind of kept it in place so that they perpetuated it themselves so that's why we were working with the black goo removal <clears throat> 